What was the name of the um, of the president, Zachary? That yeah, and what what did he do that was really important? He gave people freedom. Okay, how did he do that? So what was that war between the two sides, North and South, what was that called within America? The Civil War. The Civil War. And America was against itself. Yeah, exactly. So the North, the Northern states, which were north of the Mason-Dixon line, remember that, uh, were against the South. And there were many issues there. What Do you remember the name of the war between America and the British? It begins with an R. It's a hard word. Revo the Revolutionary War. So Donald Trump in, in that younger guy, what was he called? Uh, the former president. Um, the president we learned about. Before Donald Trump? Um, or are you talking about George Washington? So George Washington was just... Not being president, but what was that guy? So we all and the and Donald Trump did have a hard time. And Hillary Clinton, well, president and was he was that damn? What was that? Oh my God. Last, what was that guy? President Barack Obama, is he the former president? Are you talking about him? No, Barack Obama wasn't having to... Which president, Baby Cakes? Mm. Was he an old president that's passed on, that's dead, or was he a current president? He was a president. What was that president we just talked about? Oh, Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln. Oh. He... One, his so team. <laughs> the bad guys would start the war. They were the real slaves. But the sl they called the, sl the slaves. The they called the real those people. They were not slaves. They just get called. They were being called slaves. But they were. Yeah. I am so impressed by your knowledge at age four, Zachary. So is Miss Becky or Mr. Taven, do they read books about the wars that America had in the history? No. How do you know that information then? Um, because... Hey, Mom? Yeah? Speaking of war, remember, Mom, in that old school movie, Robin Hood? Oh, the one that we watched with uh, Grandma Judy and Nono? Uh-huh. Remember Robin Hood shooted that arrow? He shot, shot, shot the arrow. Shot that arrow mm -hmm. right at that guy, right in the armor. It somehow went, it went through the arm because the armor is strong. Ah, yes, but um, armor is not 100% foolproof. That means it's not, doesn't cover every single square inch of the body. And sometimes, like there's a little, like for example, the between the um, the shoulders and the chest plate, or like in the neck area, not so much there, but like or in the groin area, like which is um, underneath your belly. Sometimes there's a, a weak spot there where you can see skin, and you can pierce the skin like that. It only takes a small amount. You can pretty much get hurt there. Yeah, you sure can. Also, there can be some cuts in the armor. Yes. Well, it depends. I mean, armor is pretty solid. It's made out of metal. Um, it's not bulletproof. Well, in the old, in the old days, they had armor and swords, 
and see what they did not have guns. Yeah, well, they they used to have like powder guns, but in terms of having like guns with bullets, etc., <coughs> then that's a relatively new thing. You're right. So they didn't really have guns with bullets. Well, I'm, I'm not exactly sure when they had the like the powder guns, but those were actually technically guns. I have to look that up in Google. But uh, but they but they did have a lot of swords and a lot of seals. Yes. Okay, Zachary. Any final words? Not the end. The end. <laughs>